bought this karahiya, beautiful karahiya from um, Pakistan. And I have been making shrimp karahi in this. But today, I am going to make a shrimp karahi with a twist with some green, um, green curry paste. So we'll see how it turns out. In goes some um, jira methi sarso and some and some so then goes wood then goes the tomato you will see me asking a little to help no not that baby what's in the thing so I'm gonna put this video raw with me babe the, this love this. This. this 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 thank you dui buddha budhiya milke khana pakaye ek budhiya jaane nahi baat kare dusra buddha jaane nahi direction lewe so iske khub bhujega make it nice and crispy golden brown before i start adding all my masala in here Now once it gets golden brown, I have all my masala in here. I have lesun, nimak, mircha. No mircha because I made a paste out of this. Um, this one has dhania, tomato, piaj, roasted piaj, and lesun in here, which I made a paste. And in here is adrak lesun, um, masala, hardi, and nimak. And that's it. And that gets golden brown. I'm gonna put it in here. So, this is almost ready here. And this is real steel tamba is the whole day, I think. Um, but I. <coughs> Uh, this is almost ready. I made last night tomatoes, cilantro, fresh onions, uh, some scallions, and also um, bah, 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 uh, roasted um, onion get paste, big paste. In here I have uh, curry powder, turmeric, salt, garlic, and ginger, which I'm gonna add to this to make a nice beautiful paste. Shrimp I had already marinated with um, um, roasted onions, garlic, and ginger, no salt, and I had fried almost like a quick deep fry before it goes into the masala. In goes my masala paste. In here. Now this is going to become a beautiful paste before I put the tomato in there to get in a nice, um, so each step has to become a nice beautiful paste. So now this is going to cook in here till it becomes a good thick gravy before I'll put the tomato paste in there. So this has to cook now. You see the difference now all the water has evaporated and now it is a beautiful gravy that's the first part and then I'm gonna start putting in of the paste I've added my tomato paste that I made and by the way, this was all homegrown tomatoes from Abu's garden, Abi's garden. So, 
now this is gonna cook till all the oil I can see on the top then I know my masala is cooked all the oil that was used in the bottom has to all come up so I'm gonna put this in very very slow simmer and have all the tomatoes get nicely cooked into the masala once the oil is up then I'll add my shrimp and I'm done but right now it needs to cook with a lot of love and a lot of time so you can see the oil on the top and now I'm this masala is ready it doesn't have the sour of the uncooked uncooked masala and now inside goes the shrimp but no as soon as the daughter comes both of them can shut up I'm, I'm doing this but no so guess what it's gonna go in just like that with them talking shit in the back of their teams and T there is shit talking about your Dallas Cowboys so five minutes and this shrimp karai is done I decided not to use the green paste because Ali already tasted this and I said I haven't 